Hello everybody, this is Alan with HQ.com, and today I'm doing a review of the new Fio G01 guitar headphone amplifier. It's over here and basically I'm going to go over a lot of the functionality of it and I'm also recording a lot of these sounds on a separate mixer board over here so that I can play them back when I'm demonstrating some of this stuff. So if you have any questions or comments afterwards, please feel free to leave them. Again, this is a new product. They're actually revising it right now in production. So this could be tweaked a little bit before it's released. The, the form factor will stay the same, but a few of the things that I have comments on here, they may actually be changing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna first go over some of the functionality built into the Fio G01 over here. All right, over here, you can see you've got a USB port for charging. Right here is where your headphones plug in. This is your on-off switch. Right here is your primary volume control. You can also use the control on your guitar as well to tweak the volume even, even further. Here's your tone. That's similar to what you'd see on a stereo receiver to where it will either brighten or, or cool off the sound. So basically make your treble and your mid-range a little bit more hot or laid back. This feature right here is the drive and that drive gives you that metallic sound similar to heavy metal or something like that. And then right here you have an auxiliary import so that you can plug in uh, another external MP3 player or similar so that if you want to try and play along with some music or if you're mixing your own tracks, you know, you could do that so you could throw into a mix board and then come back out. And of course there is your connector for going into your guitar. So with that said, I'm going to basically plug this in and I'm going to step you through all the features of it and I'm going to record some sound so that you can hear what it's like. And Hopefully in another review later, I plan on getting some people who are actually good at playing guitar to uh, demo a little bit of this and you know give you their thoughts on it. My thoughts are coming from a beginner standpoint and just knowing when you're playing the kind of stuff that you'd be looking for. So here we go. A few things I want to point out here is one, this cable that's running in the AUGS in on the G01 is plugged into my iPhone. And on my iPhone, I'm running an application called Guitar Toolkit. And for the purposes of this, I'm basically going to be showing that I've got a metronome playing through here so that I can hear in the headphones while I'm playing. The purpose of running this is just to show that the metronome will play through the headphones while I'm doing this and that you can play back music while you're playing your guitar. This cable running out the headphone output of the G01 is running over to my inputs on my Zoom R16 mixer board. And that's going to allow me to be able to um, play back the sounds for you as I make changes on the G01. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to turn the volume all the way down on the G01. Okay, turning the volume all the way down. And one thing I would like to note is the main controls for the volume and the on off are on the bottom of this. Something that I'm not crazy about, but you know, once you get used to it, you'll be able to do it. So I've turned this all the way down. Before you ever get started on this, you want to make sure the volume's all the way down because if you plug this in with headphones on, it's going to pop in your ears and you could really damage your ears. So turn it all the way down before you even plug it in and then gradually turn it up until you get to the point where you want to listen. And it doesn't take much power. And again, you can use the volume on your guitar in conjunction with the volume on your G01 to determine how loud this is. Now I'm going to demonstrate actually using my iPhone's metronome going into my input and then the output to the headphone so that you can see while I'm playing I can actually listen to another sound while I'm playing. So here we go, the metronome's on, I have it on 90 beats a minute. And here, this is just a simple D chord. And as you can hear, that's just normal sound. I haven't tweaked anything on it right now. 
if you want to adjust the tone, the middle section on the G01 here on the side is the actual tone dial. And what I was saying about that warms up a sound or cools it off. So you'll hear it might introduce a little bit of noise, but it gives it a little bit more um, treble and mid range to it. And right now I have the volume turned pretty much all the way up because I have the drive turned all the way down, no effects are on. Okay, now what I'm going to show you is turning up the drive. Now one thing I do want to note about this, again the volume's on the bottom of the unit when it's plugged in. You'll want to turn the volume down because when you turn the drive up it gets loud really fast. So here I'm going to turn the volume down now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the drive up, which is just pushing down on it. And here you'll sound. I'm going to start out with just a strum. And if I turn the drive up, you'll hear that metal sound right there. So if you're looking for that metal sound, that's perfect. Now the more you turn it up, the more distorted it gets. So the drive is really like a distortion. So it gets pretty, pretty crazy, but it depends on what you're going for. If you're going for death metal, then maybe that's what you want, but you can actually tweak it up and down and you can get a nice, a nice electric sound and still have a lot of the clarity that you'd want in your electric guitar. Now, one of the things that I will note here is and I told them about this as well. When you crank the drive up and you hit these notes, it has a tendency for the for the lower notes to overpower your, your mid-range and your treble. So that's one thing that I noted to them and it's only when you start cranking the drive up and you really want to get that metal sound. So hopefully that's one thing that they'll tweak out, but overall it's a really nice effect and it eliminates the need to hook a pedal up to this for that. It gets kind of muddy and the bass overpowers everything so you don't get much of your high notes. Now if you were doing solos only on your treble and the bass wasn't in there, then the turning the drive up actually isn't that bad. So if you're doing something like that, you get a nice effect out of it, but as soon as you bring in one of those low notes with it, that high just completely disappears. So again, Here's, here's a high note. And one strum on the bass kind of kills it. So um, if you turn the drive down a little bit, you can get that nice effect and you can still get the clarity in your upper range. And in a nutshell, that's the G01. It's, it's fantastic. You can hear the metronome going in the back it depending on your pickups and how well the things hooked up i mean a lot of guitars after you play them a lot will get a short and the cable but this this guitar that um my dad actually let me borrow ha, is a little over 10 years old and it's still pretty clean you'll occasionally hear some static in it but overall the g01 does a fantastic job and if you're needing to practice in quiet, but you want to still be able to jam out, this is the perfect setup for that. You can turn your headphones up as loud as you want to go and not disturb anybody around you. You can also get that metal effect. And if you wanted to get creative with this, you could even take this, if you got another wire to attach it to, hook it up to an effects pedal, plug it into this, and then use, use that as your headphone amplifier coming into your headset and you have just limitless possibilities with this. So this is the perfect way, especially if you're a beginner or even if you're somebody that's pretty good, to be able to play your guitar, get a lot of practice time in, and not disturb a bunch of people around you. And you can listen just as loud as you want. So 
Um, I love the product. I think they need to tweak a few things, especially considering the drive. If they can work out that situation where the base just completely dominates the treble, then I think they're going to have a product here that is going to be absolutely fantastic and going to be hard to beat. I, I need to look and find out what the pricing information is going to be on this, but it's a unique product. There's not many like this on the market and uh, something I highly recommend. And, and I do want to say thank you to Fio for sending it to me for, for evaluating this because it, it's actually an honor to be able to be in on the, uh, the production curve on this and basically being able to give them some feedback to let them know kind of what needs to be tweaked and, and whatnot. So I really do appreciate the opportunity. And I hope you guys have found this useful. Uh, this has been Alan with HeadphoneReviewHQ.com. If you have any questions or comments about the G01 guitar headphone amplifier, please leave them in the form below. You know I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And as always, thank you very much for sticking around and watching this entire video. And I look forward to bringing you more here in the near future. I've got quite a few products to review for you. So um, subscribe, tell your friends about it, share me on Facebook, Twitter, every other social network that you could think of. And I'll see you soon. Thanks.